Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today we're going to look at subreports. So a subreport is a, a report that sits within another report. So you, you've got a main report here and you'll have a subreport that sits within a table within that report or some sort of holder within that main report. Um, I'm going to show you an example of how I can or how we can create a, a subreport like anything with an SSRS, um, there's a load of different ways of creating the same solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a report that shows a list of offices. And within that list of offices, it's going to show a list of the staff that works in those offices. So I could have created a single report with a full office and staff um, structure and group by office is one way I could have done it. But I'm going to use a sub report just as an example. So first of all, let us create our main report. So add new item, report, not the wizard. And this is going to be our main office report. Um, I have a shared data source already set up, which I've talked about in a previous video. So we're going to use that. And I've got some SQL set up already. Okay. And I'm going to create a table to put the data. So this report is going to be a list of offices and below it a list of employees. And for that, all I need for my kind of header, my main information is just the office details so I just need one column so I'm going to highlight these two right click and delete them I'm going to make this column nice and wide um, and the headers um, going to be um, office information and here instead of it being office code if I go to expression it's going to be um, the office code and office name so now if I center both of those um, and just so we know which bits are which um, I'm going to change the properties of this top one to be that color and slightly below it change the properties to be a slightly different color okay and if I just preview that we should see a list of the offices One now. Okay, so there's a list of my offices. So now if I go back to design, next thing we need to do is create our sub report. So let us add new item, report, not report wizard, and we're going to create um, sub employees report. Same data source. And once again, I've got some SQL to use here. Blue Peter style, previously saved. And I'm going to put here a new table. Um, and it's going to be... Um, Full name, hire date, leave date, and if I drag this across here, um, sorry, one second. I want this one to be kind of the wide one. Okay. So now, if I run this, actually, I'm going to give this this head of a third color, just so you can see. Um, without that color and this we will make the staff name in red 
Okay, so now that we've got that, if I just run this report, there's our employees and our leave date and hide it. I really ought to quickly fix the dates as well. Okay, now what the sub report needs for this to work is it needs a parameter in order to do our filtering. And the parameter that, we've, that we want for this is the office code because we want to show the staff in the office code. And although I haven't used it on here, I did bring the office code in as part of my SQL. So I'm going to create a parameter here. Um, it's going to be a hidden parameter, so it doesn't matter. Um, but I'm gonna, I need to name it so because I'm going to use it in a second. So parameter office, prime office. Um, it's a text, and it's hidden. So click OK on that. And now on our data set, if we go to data set properties and go to filters, we're going to create a new filter. And this filter is going to be the office equals. And we go to parameters our parameter value. Okay, so let's save that. And let's close that down. Let's go back to the main office. Now, we need to highlight the, uh, or rather right click on the um, the detail uh, left hand little tab, see the one with the three lines on. If we right click on that, we get an option to insert a row and we insert it below inside the group. So we should get another section with three little lines or another detail section and in here now um, if I remember our ah, insert so right click we choose insert and sub report and now if we right click we've got the sub report properties we get to select our sub report so on here we say our sub report is sub employees report and there is a parameter and if we click add um, we've got a parameter which is the parameter in the sub report and that's going to link to our office code from this report because that is the join within the two tables so if we click OK fingers crossed we preview this report I know there is something to mention here, so let me just go back. Let's, it's done what I wanted it to do, but um, I'd like to say it was a deliberate mistake, but it wasn't. If I just go back to the sub report, the sub report is going to be presented in the main report. The sub report will be presented exactly how it looks, and right now the sub report's got all of this white space here. So I need to bring this white space up. So that there isn't any white space. Close that down now. And if I just bring this up, just because it should be tidy anyway. And if now if I click on preview, what we get is this. Office details, the header, and then the information below. There's nobody in the Glasgow office. So we'll go to our London office. There's three employees in the London office, three in the Middlesbrough office, four in the Manchester office, and none in the Newcastle or Preston office. So depending on, I mean, you know, you can use your SQL to kind of omit these um, offices that don't have any employees. Um, the, the beauty is that as you add employees, then this thing's going to grow and it's going to change. As you add offices, the office um, sections are going to dynamically be created and, and the staff be displayed below it. So like I said, for this sort of report, there's, there's a few different ways of doing it, but this is an example of a sub-report. I hope it made sense. Thanks very much for watching. Any comments or, or um, feedback, always appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you next time.